Hey, this is yours truly, Mr. Panuka. Uh, it's been a while uh, since we had a chat. Uh, today, I am coming to you from our, you know, sweet pepper, uh, you know, greenhouses. Um, we are in the midst of, uh, you know, winter. Um, temperatures around, you know, 12 to about 13, you know, degrees, you know, Celsius, uh, which is pretty, uh, quite low. Um, for sweet pepper, you know, production, but um, you can actually see that we have some very lovely, you know, fruits that, um, you know, going on uh, with some very, you know, decent, you know, uh, sweet pepper crop. Um, we are, you know, quite aware that um, in some of the, you know, regions around, you know, Zambia, um, you know, colleagues in South Africa, Botswana, and some of the neighboring, you know, countries, um, you know, winter is actually biting and they're actually off season. Uh, but likely here in Zambia, um, you know, we're still managing to, you know, uh, produce some, you know, very lovely, you know, sweet pepper, um, you know, fruits. I must, you know, hasn't indicate that um, I think this is only possible uh, given, you know, our protective, you know, environment in these, you know, um, greenhouses. Um, the temperatures um, inside these greenhouses are actually much higher. Um, we don't use fans. It's all, you know, natural, but these are, you know, all closed up. Um, and so they tend to store, you know, some heat. Um, so while this, we're talking about 10 to about 12, you know, degrees, you know, outside, um, you know, our greenhouses, um, you know, have you know, temperatures that I bet, you know, higher, a lot more warmer. Um, you know, inside. So, yeah, um, so their ability to store, you know, this warmth is what, you know, enables us to basically be in production, um, you know, all year round. So we are lucky we don't do, you know, off-season, um, you know, production of, you know, sweet pepper. We are in it, you know, all year round. Um, it's, you know, consistency. Um, and that is basically, um, you know, part of our value uh, propositions um you know as a farm um of course um the nature of these tunnels is that um once we get into you know summer uh somehow because of that you know extra you know heat that is stored um sometimes we do experience a bit of um you know um abortions here and there but um yeah you've got to choose your battles <laughs> yeah um so you can actually see here that uh, we're quite consistent with the two you know stem you know, system in terms of our production of our sweet peppers. And uh, we always maintain, you know, field, you know, hygiene, as you can see. Um, but again, um, it's always important that um, you maintain your production, you know, protocols uh, like this, you know, two stem, you know, system. And you can actually see we use, you know, the wire, you know, on the side. We don't trellis right, um, you know, on the plant. Um, the, again, this just shows you the general, you know, outlook um, of our sweet pepper, you know, crops. Um, this is right in the midst, you know, um, of winter. Um, so, yeah, somehow we've mastered the art of, uh, you know, producing, you know, sweet pepper that really gets to um, the desired, you know, weight of around 200 to 250, uh, you know, grams, you know, per fruit. But also, I think the choice of, um, you know, the variety, this is Duke and, um, you know, its uh, sister, uh, Diva, somehow, you know, they give us, you know, the best, you know, fruits that, uh, you know, we desire. So, all right, folks, uh, it's been lovely, you know, talking to you after a while. Have a lovely one and bye-bye until next time.